Hi, welcome to Jets. In front of me, I have the Biodynamic Custom 1 Pro Stereo Headphone. In the box, we have the headphone itself, a detachable cable, and a custom style tool. It is a wrench key actually. Let's talk about some specs. This headphone comes with a pair of cans at 16 ohm each with dynamic transducer, which makes it easy to drive even with your smartphone. The dynamic range is not the best out there, but for starters or entry level headphones like this, it is quite decent. It is a closed back headphone, which means that there is passive noise cancelling on this headphone. The company with the rugged headband made of spring steel. The frequency response on this thing is 5Hz to 35kHz, way beyond that what human ears are capable of listening to, which is 20Hz to 20kHz. Move on to the build of this headphone. Its overall build is quite awesome and it won't mind a little bit beating in a backpack. As its name suggests, this headphone is fully customizable. For example, the metal plates at the side of the headphone can be removed and replaced with some other design that you prefer. To do that, simply unscrew the four screws around the ring that holds the plate and remove it. From here, you might notice that actually the ring itself is also replaceable into some other colours that you prefer the most. Other than that, the ear pad of the headphone is replaceable, the headband of the headphone is replaceable, and the cable of the headphone is also replaceable. So you don't have to worry about wear and tear after years of wearing it. After replacing them, it will look brand new again. The cable here can be replaced with something like this for people who want to have microphone in their setup. But you cannot just simply custom make a cable by your own because there's a keyway that is blocking off any other cables than the original one. This headphone is exerting a pressure of 3.5 Newton on your head with that headband I mentioned just now. And for 290 gram headphone, there's just enough to hold it in place so that it can withstand a certain of motion when moving around without falling down. This brings us to the next category, comfort. Now I did not own as many headphones as it takes to evaluate whether a headphone is comfortable or not, but for the Custom One Pro, it works just fine. Since I'm wearing a spec, for a long period of usage such as 3 hours and above, sometimes I will feel pain on my ears because of the pressure from the headband. Note that I have owned this for more than 2 years and it still feels tight as before. Aside from that, I will prefer to wear this in a cooler room compared to a hotter one. This is because the default ear pads on these headphones are leather pad, so it gets warm easily. With the same reason, I will not wear this headphone when walking around the streets, not just because of how big it is, also because of the heat that it gets into my ears. Now is the sound quality part. The Custom One Pro has lived up to its name and made the customizability to the next level. Even the sound of this headphone can be customized based on your preference. It has 4 presets for you to choose and you can adjust it right on the cans. You can increase or reduce the amount of bass that you want into your ears. The larger bass port that you set to, the heavier bass it will be. As you can see in the graphs right here, the sound stage is not too wide because of its close back design. I don't describe sound quality like an audio file does because I do not know how, but let me put it in a simple way. It is way way nicer than what you can get from a 10 bucks store. For a beginner guy like me, you will smile when you first hear this headphone. Well, most people will. Because the sound is clear and the details are noticeable, and the amount of bass that you can get at full port is tremendous. Even though for some people, it feels too muddy for them, also note that this headphone is better for hip-hop, pop, R&B type of music. Genres like classical and jazz might not be at its full potential. Overall, regarding the sound quality is not the top notch in the game, its overall performance, design and durability are what makes me love this headphone so much. I bought this 2 years ago for 799 ringgit Malaysia and use it till today. I think it's worth every single penny I spent. How about you? What do you think about owning a professional headphone even though it is just an entry level like this one? Or do you have any questions about this headphone? Let me know in the comment down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.